Hello everyone! Or rather, I should say, what's up my pilots? We are back playing KOTOR and we have, I've just recorded the two videos that we're not going to be including in this timeline which are the Magical Rocketon Box video and the oh my god, I'm going to become evil inside with a very poorly designed Bastila character storyline and now that those are done we're gonna go back to what we were doing, which is being a light side person, right up until the decision at the very end, when I'm sure I will show both sides of the issue. Let's see, we want to turn over here, don't we? I have to take out these same rocket guys that we took out in the alternate timeline. It won't, shouldn't take long. Why can't I target those two over there on the left? I can see them. I know that they're there. There we go. I don't have a I don't have a direct shot to those ones behind the trees, so I can't use my leap attack. That sucks. I'm LPing with the window open today, so if you hear the sound of that moped going by, uh, you probably don't hear it over the sounds of the rocket going. Rawr, rawr, rawr. But still, it's nice out. It's a beautiful day today. I think I might just record this one video and then go lay out in the grass because it is just gorgeous out there right now. Oh, everybody's waiting outside the ship. <laughs> Fast walk it, you honey. Fast walk it. <laughs> you look so awkward. <laughs> Jeez. You're back. But where's Bastila? I is she alive? What happened inside that temple? <laughs> Everybody runs up in the same animation. Oh, the Xbox. Bastila has fallen to the dark side. Oh no, wait a minute. <laughs> Darth Vader killed your father. <laughs> well, that's a, I like that that line's there. Because, like, who's gonna... Oh, man. That's, that's a great line, though. Bastila is dead. You know, but, but, oh, I love that, I love that. Anyway, I'm gonna say that she fled to the Death Star, or the, the Death Star. <laughs> yeah. The dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Wait, we can still get her back, can't we? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence. Crap. Especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. Why is everybody always talking about my taint? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Bastila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. Okay, I didn't reject the dark the dark side. I was brainwashed into thinking I was good, and then decided to stay the way I was. <sighs> Let's see. Yes, yeah, so they took the whole Jedi Council. What chances she have? I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt. But let's go, then, before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. Yes, let's rush into battle without thinking it through properly. Wait, did we ever find those parts that we... Oh, yeah, they were in the... the I, keep, I keep asking that question and feeling like a dumbass. They were in the warrior camp, weren't they? I believe so. I believe so. My phone's ringing. Again, I love having a really long headset cord as I can walk across the room when I'm LPing. Alright, so we're back on the ship. That's weird. I'm trying to figure out what we... What's going on here? Do I have any better armor right now? I think I'm just wearing a... Oh, I'm wearing a dark Jedi Master robe and it's blue? Why, should, why isn't it black? Stop that. That trigger's going crazy. Hmm. I guess I'll just keep the one I have on. I don't know. You can't change armor during combat, though, so it might be a pain for me to change it later if I want to, but... Oh, well. Is there any other dialogue? I mean, they're all just standing around in the middle here. Uh, I know that I'm not going to be doing some of the side quests and things, and I apologize for not showing that, but to be honest, I can't be arsed to deal with it. It's just, uh, <laughs> they're not very interesting to me. Devon Hawk has no... Oh, crap! <laughs> Until you find new stabilizers. So maybe we didn't find new stabilizers. I feel like, I feel like a dumbass. Like, I have no idea what's going on. Alright, where's Zalbar? If anybody can fix this ship, it's him. Something you want? Yeah, I wonder if you can help me with the problem. If you want someone to threaten or door bash in, you'd ask someone else. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's Karth I have to talk to? Yes, what's on your mind? I... we need to... 
shit. <laughs> I don't really know much. Where do I get the stabilizers? I could have sworn we picked those up. Like, all right, let me look at my quests here. This is, hmm. Let's see. Well, I don't have any other quests. What? Wait, no. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Okay. She, she escaped to the Star Force, right? We did the Mandalorian thing. Um. Why don't? Who? I don't. I. I I'm just. I'm lost. I'm like. I'm. I'm stammering. And like. Uh. But, uh, but, uh. What are we supposed to do? Maybe I have to go and like talk to the engine core in here and fix it or something. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> I just have to go click on the hybrid drive. All right, now that it's been repaired and is functioning properly, we should be able. <laughs> That's so dumb. I'm sorry. That that should have been a, a cutscene or something because I was about ready to get off the ship and go start searching the camp again to look for the parts I was supposed to get, but apparently not. Oh, the space cage is of an unknown configuration and has no entry in the public archives. Dang. Hello. Why can't I move my cursor? Okay, it's forcing me to go to the Star Forge. Hello, what was that? Find a way. What a beautiful, beautiful landscape. Oh, flying off into the sky. The Republic fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is Admiral Thorn Dodonna to the Abbott Hawk. Do you read us? Yep. Admiral Dodonna, this is Carthanassi. We're receiving your transmission. Of course, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? They didn't. The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than you can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Star Forge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Star Forge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Star Forge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and count our every strategy. Hmm. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. Mm, typo. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. Cool. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Star Forge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock <laughs> on the space station. Except for that size, should be able to avoid their auto-targeting lasers. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Star Forge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. Man, why the hell don't we get to be in that cutscene? I guess it's just because we don't have a, a voice. We're kind of a silent protagonist. I don't know. It's not really silent, but sort of... I don't know how to describe it. We're a protagonist that doesn't have a voice actor. <laughs> That's an accurate way to phrase it, I believe, even if it is not very illustrative. An example. You can see that battle kind of like, like flashing over on the right side of the screen. It doesn't really look like a battle. It's kind of a lame visualization there. I feel like they could have done more with that. Oh wow! Looks like what two ships got through? Evan Hawk and oh, Evan Hawk and two Jedi ships got in. Okay. Oh, and we just get to land on the docking bay. There's nobody here to stop us. The auto-targeting lasers on the outside of the ship are like, nope. But in here in the little hangar, there's nobody. Just an easy landing zone. You think that they they have to like open a door or something for us to come in and land? Like, why isn't there like a big like blast door or like a shield or something? 
Otherwise, that's a huge hole in the side of your ship that you're not guarding with anything, and it's just a, a weakness. I mean, come on. All right, last chance to go to the workbench, so I'm going to take it, uh, in case we picked up anything new that I really want to use. So still using the Upari crystal. Let's look through and see what these other ones are. Uh, oh, somebody told me, and thank you for letting me know about this, is that uh, I knew that this game sort of followed like the old like board game, the like D&D kind of RPG rules, meaning that attack and damage are two different things in, in a way that I wasn't I wasn't like quite aware of exactly how it worked. But I believe that damage is the amount is actually the amount of health it adds to the amount of health that's removed when you hit somebody. It's actually how much damage you do. That plus two to attack is actually a, a, an attack roll. It's a roll against the enemy, and if it's above a certain number, you have a successful attack. Or something like that. Uh, not exactly the expert on that. Okay. Luxum, Furcron, Bondar, Sigil. This is a, a tricky setup. I think you know, Upari is going to be the one that we want, I believe, for that. So this is this is pretty much our, our final lightsaber here. It's a shame that there's not a better way to... Well, actually, damage plus two and attack plus three. We've got we've got better crystals than that now, don't we? We've been using the Crate Dragon for all for a long time. Damage plus two and attack plus three. Sapith is damage plus three and attack plus two. Okay. Next door, Jean Ru. So this is a refined form of the Opula crystal. Oh, okay. So it's damage plus two and blaster reflection. Not very useful. I'm looking for something that's going to be useful against other Jedi right now. Uh, Ooh, Furcron has a lot of damage on droids, doesn't it? I'll have to give one of my assistants that. I think I'm actually just going to take the sigil. Even though it's only plus, plus one to six on energy. I guess I could take the physical damage. Might not be a bad way to do that. A fawn crystal? Uh, it's kinda, it's, I guess it's just a preference. I'm going to go... I think I'm actually going to go with sigil, though, for this one. Alright, now we need to make Joe Lee. Right now he's got the critical hits set up going on, which I guess that would be okay for him to, to keep for now. Unless we have, do we have any other crystals that change the critical threat range? I don't think we do. No, okay. But Juhani, I'm sure, can be improved. Okay, Sapith. Alright, that's not quite... maybe not the best way to go through this. Let's... let's give her something else. If I give her the Great Dragon Pearl, what's the Solari Crystal doing? Okay, plus physical damage to the dark side. That's a great that's a great crystal actually. Kim, are we light side enough to wield that? Let me take that away from her and see if we can use it. I mean I'll be able to put it on the sword, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to actually wield the lightsaber. So let me test this out here. Oh, it took it out of my hands. Maybe I'm not quite I'm neutral. <laughs> Let's see if I can use it or not. Yeah, I can't. Crap. Restricted to light side. You don't have the prerequisites. Crap. Okay, I guess Juhani is going to have to stick with that light side crystal since she's the only one who can wield it right now. Which is kind of a bummer, honestly. I What the heck? Whoa, where am I? So we'll have to take that one off of ours. Give ourselves the... Sorry this is taking so long. Such a long time. Upari. There we go. Alright, so now Juhani is going to take that one we just had back. That's a bummer. That's a really good crystal. Now I really wish I was light side so I could use that thing, but... Oh well. It's a bummer. I feel like I'm not living up to my potential. Let's also give her the great Dragon Pearl. So she can kick some ass. Alright, and that should be... That should be good for now. I don't even know why I would even like bother looking at these. We've done enough stuff for so long. Alright, let's give me my lightsaber back and then we can get off the freaking ship. Quit diddling around. 10 to 40. Oh, that's a pretty good damage range right now. And that's not even for like power attacks or critical threat rolls or anything. That's just natural damage up to up to 40 points. That's a lot. Alright, you know who we're taking. Or maybe I should play a different party. No, that'd be dumb. I'm taking my best party that I have, and that's the Jedi. <laughs> On to the Star Forge, the final stretch of the game. This is exciting, actually. This LP's been going on for a long time, and I'm, ex I'm excited to be reaching a conclusion to this game. This is a game that I really enjoyed as a kid, and now I'm having this great opportunity to go back and play it again. Oh, who's that? What the heck? You made it. Several oh. Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. 
If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic what fleet will be wiped out. What is wrong with your out. face? Come on, before they... <laughs> Look, Nameless Peons in the same armor. Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. Well, don't stand there we'll wheeling your arms sins. around. You get kill into them. the Starforge and find Bastila. Hurry! Ah! Yep, you Nameless Peons fight the other Nameless Peons. Ah! And we'll go into the Starforge to do something ah! important. It's hard to even tell who's winning in these fights. I don't know if they script it that anybody actually goes down. You're in a couple, but you actually have to fight yourself. Oh, that one Jedi there was helping us out. Okay, we're not... We're not I don't care about that. Stop looking at that dark Jedi. Dang it. Okay, whatever. Fine. We'll go over and fight him. I don't care. If... I'm sure there's not actually a time limit or anything like that. Eh, killed him. Look at all the different colored lightsabers. That's cool. And now they're all just gonna stand around. Watch. Yeah, they're all just gonna stand around in the docking bay. All right, we're gonna go do the real work now, guys. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Into the Star Forge we go. Am I still wearing my? I'm not. Man, I went neutral and I can't wear my headpiece anymore. All right, back to the breast mask. <laughs> you know what? My my uh. Where's my where's my good armor? The heck? Who's got my armor on? Because there's defense bonus plus 13. Damn. Where at? Why have I never seen this before? Oh, that's nice. Ha! <laughs> cool. Full set. But why? That's. I'm confused now because I thought that I was. I thought I had it in my inventory. Like one of my other characters must be wearing it. But uh, huh. I don't know. Maybe I should go with Darth Bandon's that dexterity bonus, but honestly, probably the Kylo Nord's 13 immunity mind affecting. That would be nice to have, actually. I don't have anything else to give me that, do I? Alright, Kylo Nord's it is. So I'm switching back to my... Basically, my force powers are not going to be much use against the upper level Jedi in this area because my wisdom and charisma aren't high enough to be able to do any mind domination powers. So, I'm going to be limited mostly to using my lightsaber. The other two Jedi will hopefully be able, Jolie and Juhani will hopefully be able to get off some force powers on these guys, but I'm not going to have enough power. Lord Malak, a team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Star Forge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Star Forge's battle droids to deal I with I knew I should have given somebody to Fur Chronic Crystal. Malak, forgive me, but... How can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Star Forge's droid army. Everybody's it's always underestimating the, the power of somebody else. It's just of so, course. It's so cliched for the Star Wars universe. Ah, oh, crap. I should have given I should have given Jedi have invaded the Star oh. Forge. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Wow, you actually have to give orders to one of the droids in order to tell the droid army what to do. Meanwhile, we've been standing in a locked room, staring at each other's asses. <laughs> oh no, we're actually all facing different directions. None of us are looking at each other. Maybe we're having a, some kind of tiff or something. Assault droids. I doubt these are going to be very tough. Honestly, and the way that we use our force powers, I get the feeling that lightning is going to be just a easy way through these guys. Not a whole lot of danger at all. You asked for this! Oh, you know they did. The only thing you gotta watch out for is they will have some specialty things, like you just saw the flamethrower go. There will be a couple other instances like that, I believe, throughout this area. I don't know if any of them have a cold beam, because to be quite honest, I've only played through this area maybe twice before, so I don't really remember it. Uh, this, is just, this is as new to me as it is to some of you, I suppose. I get to search the remains of these guys, but what am I even gonna find? Computer spikes? Okay. Which way we go? It's definitely it's a very distinct split in the path here. I guess we'll just go east first to see what we can find. Roll on. Hello. What the freak? <laughs> it's got knocked on my ass. What happened to the other, what happened to the two of them? I guess I set off some kind of stun mine that, that yes. they were standing in the middle of. It didn't last very long, did it? Yeah. I'm just going to be laying down the power attack on these droids because they don't have very high evasion or whatever the stat is, dexterity, I guess it is. So you can just... Oh, there we go, Giovanni and I are in perfect unison again. Somebody pointed that out in one of the earlier... Would you guys get out of the way, please? Oh, 
thank you. Yeah, someone pointed that out in one of the earlier videos that <laughs> Poncho and Jihani like did that same move at the same time a few times in that video. There they go doing it again. I feel like I actually might have like picked the right way, which is no good because I like to explore everything, but whatever. Maybe these two paths lead to the same place. I don't remember, like I've already said. I should have gone for the other guy because I could have got a leap attack. I, went, I actually went for the one who was standing behind the other. And that means I didn't get to use my jumping ability. Look at that d damage bonus on the first attack. I'm not even going to bother looting these mini bodies. Are we, are we even having trouble with this? Like, is this hard at all? Again, I'm having an issue with the difficulty curve. It's like, it, is there no way to like level these enemies against us or you know, do something? It just seems these are just way, way too easy. I don't know. Maybe I am over leveled. Maybe my guardian character is just too, too strong with the lightsaber. Look at all the battles going on up here. <laughs> Go Jedi! Go light side people! Look at those scripted animations. Oh, shit, we're losing. Oh, come on, you guys suck! I wonder if we're losing this war. Don't blame this on the bat. Don't blame this on the battle meditation. Because it doesn't affect small arms combat. Seriously, are you telling me not a one of those Jedi was able to defeat one of those Sith? Ah, more victims for us to slaughter. You actually have a voice actor? Wow. Of course, she sounds like she has the exact same for voice as Euthura, but still. Well, look, they actually did damage. They took out quite a, quite a, bit, of, quite a, quite a bit of that one uh, health. Point, so that's good, I guess. I guess these Jedi weren't entirely useless. Oh, I get to search their bodies, don't I? I get to go through everybody. Eh, next door crystal. Like, that's going to be any use to us at all. Is there really going to be another workbench between here and the end of the game? <laughs> I don't really feel like there would be a handy way to slip that one in, you know? <laughs> it's like, and then you find a, uh, a broom closet with happens to have a repair vents in it, and it's like, oh, I guess that's the other path we could have taken, but it looks like they both lead to the same thing here, so... I'm not going to bother backtracking to clear the whole area, let's just move forward. Oh, more Dark Jedi. Again, not a threat to me at all. I love with that leap attack, not only do you get to go, you get to go twice, effectively, when you when you get that surprise attack, you get a damage bonus on two different swings. Just, like double the advantage. Alright, looks like we're about to change areas up here, so I think I'm gonna have to make that a video. And in the next episode of Let's Play Kotor, you're gonna uh, further explore the Star Forge and per get become perilously close to the end of the game. See you guys then.